so today I have for you a makeup tutorial. In this video, I'm actually using the new Anastasia Artist Palette. When I first seen this, I didn't want to get it. I was like, no, I'll pass on it. But then I started seeing more pictures, and then I was like, actually, I think I'm going to get it. Just because I love the two purples, um, that's really what caught my eye. And then this yellow called Fresh is really pretty, and orange is my favorite color. So that caught my attention too. After playing with it, I think my favorite has to be Buttery. It's so pretty, it's gorgeous. If you're into makeup, I definitely recommend this. It has pops of color. Not your average palette, I feel like. Another one of my favorite colors is this navy blue. It's very, very pretty. I mean, yeah, overall, I like it. I'm definitely glad that I purchased it. I think it's worth it. It was only $30, and I found it at Ulta. If you wanna see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Alright, first things first, I'm just going to start prepping my skin using the Mitchell and Peach 5 Radiance Oil. Putting this underneath my moisturizer just because my nose and my face gets very dry. And then I'm um, using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. I like this um, just because it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily. <laughs> then here I am just listening to some Rick Ross you know. Alright, so then I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Facial Primer. I really like this. It does have a silicone um, consistency. If you don't like that, then I probably wouldn't recommend it, but I do. Um, I like this better than my Spashbox Primer. Mind you, one is $7, the other one's 40 So right here, I'm using L'Oreal True Match. This is in the shade W3. This is my darker shade, just because summer's coming up and I'm starting to self-tan. In the video, if you see like a dark mark, um, my self-tanner did kind of get messed up because I was such a genius and decided to give my son a bath after I self-tan. But yeah, um, right here I'm using something new. This is the NYX HD Concealer in the shade W10. I wanted to try something with a little bit of a yellow undertone. Um, but I didn't really like the consistency of it. This is my first time using it, so I just mixed it with my usual concealer, which is the MAC Select Moisture Cover-Up, and I'm just using a Real Techniques sponge to blend that out. One thing that I do like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer for is to kind of fill in the craters in my face, the scars from, like, Acne, I have so many in my cupid's bow. It's like pimples are just attracted to that area. So that's one thing that I do like about it. And you can apply it on top of your foundation. But right here, I'm just setting my under eye concealer. I'm putting a lot on because I kind of want it to bake while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. This is my first time trying this technique. I did want to try it because I am using darker shadows, so if I get any fallout afterwards when I wipe off the concealer, I can also wipe off um, any of the dark makeup. Then I got so sad because I realized that I'm totally out of my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Eyebrow Pencil. This was my favorite. I liked it better than MAC Spike, so I decided to just go with my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit and I'm using a Real Techniques brush. It took me a lot longer than usual to do my eyebrows because I forgot what it's like to do my eyebrows with this product. Not that it's bad, I definitely recommend it for beginners, um, but I'm just used to a pencil. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows with that. Um, eventually I did realize I had a tiny bit of the Amazonian Clay eyebrow pencil, so I did just go in and underline my eyebrows with that. To clean up my eyebrows, I'm using a Physician Formula Cover FX in the lightest shade possible. Just using that underneath my eyebrows to really clean up using a BH Cosmetics brush. Then right here, I'm using a Zoeva brush with MAC Soft Ochre. And this is going to be used as a base for my eyeshadow. I really like this. I like the consistency. I had very very oily eyelids, so this is perfect. Another eye primer that I like is BH Cosmetics Primer. And then right here I'm just using the shade Buttery, which is a very gorgeous shade. It's hard to see on camera because it's so light, but you'll have to buy the palette to see. I'm using that as a brow bone highlight, kind of. <laughs> and I did use it also to set my Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Then I'm using the shade Dusty Rose from the Artist Palette with a BH Cosmetics brush, and I'm just using this as a transition shade. Um, it's a very light, mauve -y, 
purplish grayish <laughs> um, shade. It's very pretty. I could see myself definitely using this in a lot of different looks. Um, and I believe this shade, I've seen someone else say it, but I'm pretty sure they sell this in a single eyeshadow. If you are new to makeup, definitely practice on blending. I'm a very impatient person, so it takes me a while to blend. Like, it takes a lot of patience. So just keep blending, going back and forth, go back with different brushes. Um, but right here I'm using Baby I'm a Star with a Zoeva brush. And I'm just going to keep blending that in my crease until I get the shade that I want. This is a very pretty color. It's definitely more on the brown side. I don't have any other color like this in my makeup collection. Um, that's really why I like this palette. I don't have any other palettes like this. All my palettes are pretty much neutral. And yeah, this is buying this palette is just making me step out my comfort zone just a little bit. To kind of give my eyes a lift, I am flicking my eyeshadow up. Um, just like I said, to give myself, well, to give my eyes a lift and practice your blending. Right here I'm using a different brush, which I really like. It's a brush from Zoeva, and it just really helps diffuse the color. Blending is really boring to watch, so I try to cut a lot of it out. But right here I'm using the star of the show. This is the color Anaconda. I'm just applying this all over my lid. It's a very deep green color, kind of like an emerald. Um, not to be confused with Anastasia's emerald shade. I think that's in the Amri Z palette. But yeah, now I'm just using the color Coal and putting that in my outer V to just deepen the look. I want this to be a very, very smoky look. And here I'm just going back and blending all the colors together. Now I wanted to give it a little bit more of a gradient look so I'm taking moss from the lavish palette and just putting that in the inner third of my eye. I felt like I still wasn't getting the color that I wanted so I just used an elf spray. You can use Max Fix Plus and I just applied that to the inner third of my eye and it did lighten it up a lot. So back to Baby I'm a Star, now I'm going underneath my lash line and just applying that shade. It's that brown shade, um, just kind of smoking out my lower lash line. Now taking the Amrezy palette, they no longer sell this palette but you can definitely still buy the single eyeshadows. I'm using the color Legend for inner corner highlight, it's just a really light champagne color. It's not white but it's not yellow. Then I'm just going to be taking the coal shadow from the Artist palette and just deepening my lower lash line more and then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Smoldering Eye Pencil. I just bought this. It's a really black eyeliner. I think this beats my Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil. Then I'm just tight lining, which I hate because it makes my eyes water. Taking this huge Real Techniques fluffy brush, I'm now wiping away any fallout and all that white powder underneath my eyes. I don't think I mentioned it, but it's actually from Victoria's Secret. I got it years ago, but I rarely use it, and it's the only loose powder I have like that. So now I'm taking the Art, uh, the Tarte, excuse me, um, Amazonian Clay Eyeliner. I really like it, but it's not as black as I wish it was. Um, it's just very easy to work with, and I'm using a Zoeva brush. The eyeliner struggle is real right here. It's very hard to record, and it's just hard to do my eyeliner period because I just feel like my eyelashes get in the way and does anyone else have that problem like I have really long eyelashes and some of them just go different directions like I have some like really high on my eyelid above my lash line so they get in the way when I'm doing my eyeliner but here I'm just taking House of Lashes lash glue best eyelash glue ever and then applying my lashes now onto my contour, I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit. This video is just all Anastasia today. I didn't plan on it, but um, I just like that shade. Um, right here, I'm, I'm just applying it to my forehead as well. This is with a Morphe brush, and then I'm just going to blend it with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I love this brush because it is so soft. Just make sure when you're blending your contour, you are blending up and not down. 
now taking the very first bronzer that I've ever owned. It's from MAC. It's called Refine Gold. Can't even tell you if they sell it. I know they did come out with it in the Aquatic Collection. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just warming up my face with that and then taking Warm Soul Blush by MAC. I love it. It's a very warm blush. And just applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Now for the highlight though, I'm using Becca's Opal, just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, applying that to my nose, and yeah, just highlighting away. Now for the lips, I'm using my favorite duo ever, I'm using Max Sore Lip Liner. Very popular um, because of Kylie Jenner, it was sold out forever. Um, but yeah, I finally got a hold of it and I've been using it ever since and I'm just using that to outline my lips and then I'm using Anastasia's Pure Hollywood, which is a very pretty nudish pink color, but I'm just applying that to the top of Max Soar. I did end up getting it on my teeth. <laughs> Not a little bit, a lot. But yeah, I thought that was funny because it doesn't happen too often. I don't know why ever since I cut my hair short I've actually been feeling putting my hair up which is very rare for me if you know me I used to absolutely hate putting my hair up but yeah I just put it up in a messy bun and then back to my big old hoops which are my favorite they're from piercing pagoda but yeah um, please thumbs up this video if you haven't already definitely subscribe for more videos and that is it Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video But here I am